Why would someone set fire to a bookstore? That's what arson investigators are trying to find out in North Hollywood. The owner says the arsonist also left behind a threatening note. KCAL 9's Candace Crone is live at the bookstore to show us the damage. Candace, what did the owner tell you? Well, the damage to the outside of the building uh, doesn't look so bad, but inside, I can tell you that the smell is pretty strong. You can see a sign there uh, hanging uh, above the store saying that it's closed. The owner, though, hopes that it's only temporary. Just walking in the doors, I couldn't see five feet in front of me. The smoke was so thick. Dan Weinstein described a heartbreaking moment when he arrived to see the damage to his bookstore after a fire burned much of the entrance. Charred books and miscellaneous items were scattered about. LA fire crews responded to the Iliad bookshop on Coenga just after 11 p.m. Thursday. Their quick work prevented flames from spreading throughout the store. Weinstein says he was on pins and needles because two of his pets were inside at the time. My first concern was the cats. We have cats here, two cats, but I did open up and we got them out right away and put them in the car and they were safe. So that was a big relief. <laughs> Weinstein says he's never had any issues in the 17 years he's been in business until Thursday's fire, which he finds suspicious because of this flyer left behind. It's hard to make sense of the rambling message, but Weinstein says he's paid close attention and believes his business may have been the latest target of anti-Semitic violence in the city. It could have been. I mean, I'm Jewish, so maybe the anti-Semitism movement that's happening, maybe I was a victim of that. Maybe... Somebody just didn't like our customer service here. Arson investigators are looking into who and what may be responsible for the blaze. Fans blew at full force to flush out the strong odor of smoke. Fortunately, no major damage was done inside. Weinstein says he's not sure what the future of his bookstore holds, but hopes this chapter isn't finished just yet. I started this business with 2,000 books. <laughs> now I have 150,000, so... It's something I've built over the years and it really, it would make me very sad to have to close it. Now the owner says he could be forced to sell the business just depending on the condition of the books. He will assess the damage in the coming days as for the cause of the fire that's under investigation. We're live in North Hollywood, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News, back to you.